Well, if you've got a horse trailer you want to use to haul cows, uh, you got to make sure that you don't make the mistake I just made. You can see some two by sixes jammed in there impromptu because the cows simply hopped over that back gate and they also hopped out of this and I can't believe they did that. There was a cow in this second section here and it simply just jumped right out of there. Um, <laughs> I would not have thought that. That's a long ways to the ground. I'm five foot nine and this is just at my forehead so that's a good five and a half feet off the ground with a pretty narrow opening there so that doesn't work the other problem with this horse trailer is this gap here in between these bars is way too wide they tried to get a hoof in there i'm glad i don't have broken legs on my cows quite honestly and then this little area here which was for hay storage as a horse trailer uh, was a nightmare. When I pulled down the driveway, the, my black cow was half inside that, half outside of it. Good way for injury. That's got to go. Um, so I got some significant modifications to make to this old horse trailer to make this a stock trailer. So if you're doing what I'm doing, getting stuck with a horse trailer because you can't find a stock trailer, make damn sure you got it a little bit more secure than I did. I'm a cow newbie. I haven't owned a cow in... 20 years and even then it was a one steer so my new breeding enterprise of 10 or 12 cattle and purebred highlands is all new to me i cannot claim to be an expert and i just learned a very valuable lesson right there